Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor, and today we've got the sound system demo of the 2021 Ford Bronco Sport and its base six-speaker audio system. This is going to be an in-depth review. We're going to take a look at how the infotainment system works, take a look at speaker locations, audio inputs, audio controls, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, then get out on the road and listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling. I'll give you my thoughts at the end. If you want to skip straight to more of the music, click on pass. We've got chapters in the video that will allow you to get right to the driving portion listening to more music but if you want to see more on how the system works stay tuned before we get started hop out to a quick look at the truck a compact suv by class this is coming in it's based on the escape but using the bronco name sport model this is technically the badlands trim which gives it a little bit of extra off-roading ability it's a pretty neat little car and i think it's going to sell really well so if you want to see more on the Bronco Sport, check the links in the description for our highway fuel economy test and our full review. Now I always do these tests with lossless, uncompressed WAV audio files on a USB stick plugged directly into the system and high quality binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. We also do the test of the sound settings set to their factory defaults, so let's take a look at those now. Now this is a very responsive, nice and easy to use version of Ford Sync infotainment system. You've got your nice bottom row here with everything you need to get to, whether it's maps. Interesting, that goes right to Apple CarPlay. And then you got your phone, your mute. Oh, that goes to Apple CarPlay too. <laughs> settings, all that good stuff. If we go into settings and then sound, you see how quickly it responds. You have treble, mid-range, bass, and then your standard front, rear, left, right, fader, and balance. You can tap it around here or actually toggle things over and everything's got a nice reset up in the top corner. Let's go through and sample treble, mid-range, and bass. On top of that, you also have speed compensated volume adjustments. So as you get going faster, the volume will boost up. And in occupancy mode, so if it's just the driver, you can focus the sound more just on him or her. For audio controls in the Bronco Sport, you've got a nice volume knob here. It's kind of rugged feeling, easy to grip and turn. And volume buttons on the left side of the steering wheel. For track selection, you've got a tuning knob. If you're in the audio screen, you can use the touch screen. You've got physical buttons here and physical buttons on the steering wheel. For audio inputs, you have your standard AM, FM, Sirius, XM, satellite radio, Bluetooth, USB-A and USB-C with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto support. And that is it. So what does that mean you're missing? Well, you don't have a disc player, you don't have a 3.5mm auxiliary input jack. Neither of those are the end of the world here in 2021. Speaker locations. This is the six speaker base system, so very straightforward. One down here in the door, two, three, four five and six in the second row. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Start with Apple CarPlay, click here. It's already up, plugged in. You can see it takes up all the screen, looks nice, resolution's decent, very responsive, good refresh rate. You can see our map here, you can move it around, pinch to zoom, all that good stuff. Phone and settings. Let's pop that out, put in Android Auto. There we are. That actually looks really nice for Android Auto. Typically Android Auto doesn't look that good, but the screen has got a really good resolution and again that responsiveness. Let's go back to the maps. Look how easy it is to pinch and zoom, move around. That works really well. You go down, you got your settings screen. All good there. Alright, let's get out on the road.
shows the averageness of this system. Nothing is particularly crisp or particularly harsh. There's uh, some depth of sound. There's a little bit of kick and power to it, but nothing to write home about. Now that we're away from some of those vehicles, turn the music down. Here at the Bronco Sport, sounds like at 70. Really not too bad. I expected this boxy shape to be a little bit louder, but they did a pretty good job with sound isolation. This next test, turn the face all the way up, see how it sounds. sounds awful this certainly isn't a bad system but you can only do so much with this level of tuning and speakers and certain songs like you'll get some pop music it's like oh okay this sounds good it's bumping and then other songs you get more complex rock or classical music and, and it's just like eh, yeah I'm not really being moved by this so we're giving it a 5 out of 10 objectively subjectively speaking for this class price point especially if this were one of the lower model not the Badlands but just like a base entry-level Bronco Sport. You get this really good, very responsive, easy to use infotainment system. You get a good amount of inputs and controls. I'd be giving it about a six, maybe even six and a half for the entry-level price point. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this perspective of the Bronco Sports audio system. If you want to see more on the Bronco Sport, check the link in the description for our highway fuel economy test and our full review. And we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on.